What's up, guys? So let me read this to you because this is what first came out. This has been debunked. Now this is not what happened. Uh, this is what first came out. It said, uh, breaking, missing seven-year-old reportedly hit by FedEx driver, says member of child's extended family. This has not been confirmed by police. Please see updates. Uh, at 7.51 p.m., police have cleared the scene where the road was blocked off by police earlier this evening. What, what was found? Why were police there? Was the story told to Athena's extended family members about the FedEx driver true and also told to people who lived near the block off area true? We simply don't know yet and won't know until police agree to talk to the media. So all we can say right now is stand by. I will continue to update this case when I get any information that is newsworthy. This person right here is who is speaking in this. Go follow them on Twitter uh, for latest breaking news on different things like this. At 7.05 p.m., not confirmed, by police, but a member of Athena's extended family just confirmed to me that the seven-year-old was hit by a FedEx truck driver who got scared and dumped her body in the woods. She said the family was told today that the driver of the FedEx truck was being interviewed today in the case. Again, this is not confirmed by police, but for the extended family members of Athena. No confirmation of a body found, though. I am also hearing the same story from a neighbor in the area where police have blocked off the road. So this, this is not what happened, guys. This hitting her and uh, him making her disappear because he accidentally hit her and he didn't know what to do, so he put her in the woods. This, this story is wrong. But this is the story that came out originally. This is the original story that came out in this case. And so that's why I'm showing you guys it. Uh, but it's not what happened. So the FedEx driver, which is a piece of crap, uh, delivered the package to the house. And once he delivered the package to the house, he took this girl. He didn't hit her. He took this girl, and the police are saying now, within an hour of him taking this girl, he ended her life. Within an hour. So we're talking pretty quickly after. Ooh. Ooh, damn, this, this case is bothering me, guys. Like, I don't, there's something, I don't know, something about this case really, really is irking me. It, it it maybe it's pissing me off. I don't I don't know, but it it's just, woo! It's making me mad. Like this dude, this guy, this piece of crap FedEx driver, destroyed two families' lives and two kids' lives in less than an hour, because that's what the police are saying. And, and why I say two kids is because he had his own. He has a kid that is. A very young kid of his own. So that kid's life's ruined also because of this. Because the rest of his life, his dad he's gonna know his father as a guy that killed a little girl. And that is going to be hard on this kid for the rest of his life. Or her life. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, sorry. Uh and then Athena's family are their life is ruined because they lost their daughter. Like, I wouldn't, like, I would still dislike the FedEx guy. I would still dislike him. But I could understand a little bit with this story that originally came out. That he hit her and uh, he got scared and threw her body in the woods. I, I could, I, I still think he should serve time and fucking be put away for a while for it. But that's not what happened. It's not what happened. He didn't hit her with the vehicle. He literally did away with her life. 
But I just figured you guys needed to see what the original first story was that was going through. But, yeah, this story's wrong. Uh, but it was right at the time because nobody knew. Everybody assumed this was the story. And at the time, this was the story. Until we found out more facts to find out this wasn't the story. But like I said, go follow her on Twitter, guys. Uh, she keeps a pretty good uh, look at the updates. The up, these were updates as the case was going. And uh, I'm sure if you go there now, there's updates to the new part of the cases. New things to the case. If you guys want to support my channel, you can do so by checking out my Facebook page. Link in the description. Bye, guys.